The Great Turnip Once in old Russia, Grandfather planted a turnip. The turnip grew and grew and grew some more. It grew until it was huge, the size of a pot. Grandfather came out of the house, puffing on his pipe. He tried to pull the turnip out. He pulled and pulled, but the great turnip would not come out of the ground. Grandmother, he called, help me pull this great turnip out of the ground, for it is huge, the size of a pot. So Grandmother came out of the house, a babushka on her head. She put her arms around Grandfather's waist, and they pulled and they pulled, but the great turnip would not come out of the ground. Grandmother called to her daughter, Masha, come and help us pull this great turnip out of the ground, for it is huge, the size of a pot. So Masha came out of the house, wiping her hands on her apron. She put her arms around Grandmother's shoulders, and Grandmother had her arms around Grandfather's waist. And they pulled and they pulled, but the great turnip would not come out of the ground. Masha called to her dog, Sasha, come out here and help us pull this great turnip out of the ground, for it is huge, the size of a pot. Then out came the dog, shaking his ears. He grabbed the ties on Masha's apron, and Masha put her arms around Grandmother's shoulders, and Grandmother had her arms around Grandfather's waist, and they pulled and they pulled, but the great turnip would not come out of the ground. Sasha barked to the cat. Misha, come out here and help us pull this great turnip out of the ground, for it is huge, the size of a pot. Then out came the cat, preening her whiskers. He grabbed the dog's tail and the dog grabbed the ties on Masha's apron, and Masha put her arms around Grandmother's waist, and Grandmother had her arms around Grandfather's waist, and they pulled and they pulled, but the great turnip would not come out of the ground. Misha meowed to the mouse, Kasha, come out here and help us pull this great turnip out of the ground, for it is huge, the size of a pot. Out came to the mouse eating a piece of cheese, and she pulled on the cat's tail, and the cat grabbed the dog's tail, and the dog grabbed the ties on Masha's apron, and Masha put her arms around Grandmother's shoulders, and Grandmother had her arms around Grandfather's waist, and they pulled and they pulled. Kasha pulled Misha, Misha pulled Sasha, Sasha pulled Masha, Masha pulled Grandmother, Grandmother pulled Grandfather, and the huge turnip came out of the ground. Then they all went inside the house and had turnip for dinner. This shaggy turnip story motif Z49.9 comes from Russia, though versions of it have also been found in various of the Baltic states and in Scandinavia as well. I have added a few Russian names to my telling, but have otherwise left the story alone. This is a familiar cumulative tale, the kind of story especially popular with the youngest story lovers. It is often told in kindergartens with all the children joining in, almost like a game. Cumulative tales invite the listener to recite along with them. Think of this is house that Jack built and the gingerbread man. They are cumulative stories as well. Mashed turnips. You can work up quite an appetite with all that pulling. Serves a family. Equipment, cutting board, sharp knife, medium-sized pan, colander, measuring cup, bowl, potato masher or electric mixer. Ingredients, one large or four small turnips, one eighth cup milk, 30 milliliters, stick of butter, 115 grams, though you can use less, half a teaspoon salt, one eighth teaspoon pepper, extra salt, for boiling water. Directions. Peel and cut turnips into one inch by three inch strips. Put the turnip pieces in a pan and cover with water. Add a dash of salt and bring to a boil, then reduce heat to medium high. Boil for approximately 30 minutes until the turnips are tender, can be checked with a fork. Put the colander in the sink then pour out the turnips and water into it. Rinse with hot tap water. In the bowl, mash the turnips, butter, milk, salt, and pepper by hand with the potato masher or with the electric mixer. When done, it will still be lumpy. If you don't have turnips, try these other mash tubers. 
mashed potatoes. Follow the same directions with five or six large potatoes. Use only half a stick of butter and potatoes may need more milk. So start with the 1 8 cup and add a little more at a time as needed. When done, they will be smooth. Mashed yams or butternut squash. Follow the same directions with four large yams or one or two butternut squash. You will need to remove the seed and stringy middle from the squash. Use only half a stick of butter and no milk. Add one to two tablespoons of brown sugar. Facts about turnips. The turnip is a root vegetable with the scientific name Brassica rapa. It has been used over the centuries as food for both humans and their livestock. Turnips probably came from Northeastern Europe or Asia thousands of years ago. Not only can the root be eaten, but the green leaves can be cooked like spinach. The turnip, with its whitish hue, is closely related to the yellow rutabaga, or Swede, Brassica napo brassica. Since turnips thrive in cold, damp climates, they became the poor people's main meal until potatoes came along. At one time in Europe, throwing a turnip at someone was considered a great insult.